M0FXB. I've been asked to do a basics video on the Yaesu FD70. It's 2025. So let's just go through things step by step. I have got a C4FM hotspot here because this radio is VHF, UHF, Airband and C4FM. So let's just start off with, you know, simple things like turning the radio on and off. So on the side here, you see it's red there. Turn it off. Okay, it's single display, although you do have dual watch, full keypad, and the function button allows secondary functions of every button, which also you can press for DTMF. On the side here, you can buy accessories, speaker microphone just there, and you can program this as well with a cable that plugs in just here, also firmware and a DC input. And you can charge straight into the radio or you can use the, the cradle that you can buy. And the cradle is only about 20 pound. To take off the battery, you've got a very nice belt clip here as well, but to take the battery off, you just sort of make sure you've got it in the unlock position and just press, it bounces out. And I, I, do, I will say that if the battery is left in the radio, it does drain, um, which some people think is a pain, but it, it does mean that the battery tends to last for several years. Uh, trigger style, they call this with the PTT. And here you've got the squelch, and it looks like the when you press it, it's a squelch off button and volume. Okay, and more buttons on the front, GM, and then you've got an AMS, it's basically for activating fusion. So on the top, you'll get used to this, but you, it's a single knob. They could have put two knobs, but single knob changing channel, but when you uh, press the side button, it's volume. So let's just turn it on. And we'll start off putting it into what we call VFO mode. So VM here. And the, the, back, the buttons are back, backlit orange and they look lovely. This radio at night looks beautiful. You get these really nice LEDs that, that come on with receive and transmit as well. And they give you some in indications to what you're up to as well. Um, so let's just go VFO. So now we can type frequencies and something we can type straight away is 133 is uh, 850. Oops. And you'll notice that even in this room with just the rubber duck antenna, which is a good antenna. And I don't recommend you, that you would need to upgrade the antenna. If you want better reception, just get outside, get out and about and uh, you'll pick things up or... or remove the antenna and connect an external antenna on your roof to this SMA. Okay, so we'll just leave it on airband for a bit while I just show you the volume. So on the side here, you've got volume. When you press and turn the knob at the same time that you get the volume, we'll leave it on about 10. But the speaker on this thing is beautiful and sounds lovely, better than the FT3 and the FT5, I would say. Um, so... Let's, uh, so you type in a frequency. Oh, let's show you the squelch. So see the F button, press F. Then press the button under the PTT and look, squelch. And I, I recommend about three, but you can see the LEDs there. And they do go when you're in transmit. Um, if you want to go, but I should time out. If you want to go back, I just press the PTT. And you can't transmit on airband, it won't even allow you. So if we just type in 145000, uh, zero, 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 and then when you press PTT, it goes red, look. And I believe that when it's receiving digital signals, it does actually go blue, okay? So let's, uh, let's uh, just start to go through some of these buttons with the secondary functions. Um, see, it says FM there at the moment, that's the mode. If we press this orange button here without pressing the F, you'll go into digital mode, digital narrow, FM, which is your normal FM, and then back to digital. And I'm pretty sure it'll do vo what they call voice wide. Uh, you just gotta change that in the settings. It's not something I've ever used. Uh, so we want it in FM at the moment. And if we put in a strong repeater, uh, like four, three, zero, nine, to five that we may pick that one up if someone transmits here and so to i'll quickly show you some of these functions and at the same time we can actually add a memory channel so if you press the f then the one you can change the power it's a five watt radio okay there's high and to back out 
press the F again. Two, it starts to scan and it's fast, you know. Um, you think you can buy these for about 140, 150 now. Look how fast that scans and you can change the step that you'll see in a minute. And it actually found something then. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's press that. Then we'll go F3. And that's the, the type of DTMF you would like to use. Manual, auto. I use manual. So now if we just go press and then start to dial. So we go the star here and the hashes here. Star 3, da da da, da And there's the, as you transmit. And it will, um, it will, that, will that works really good. Uh, let's do the band button. That's flicking through the bands. There's your air band. Two meters for say things like GB3 WR, GB3 Bravo Charlie. 174, 278. So it's quite a wide band set. Uh, you can listen to lots to listen to and you know FM or digital. Uh, dual watch you've got here. So we've got F and then the VM button. Do that again. Just you know, just checking if if that's a secondary function or not. Let's try F number four. Yeah, there's the step. You can choose your step. I leave it in auto most of the time. F squelch type. We'd need the tone on. So tone squelch or tone. I tend tend to use tone. And then we'll go. That was. F then code, sorry, do that again. F then six, and we can do 94.8 tone, or I think I need 77 for that repeater. So we've got the tone, uh, we've got the frequency in already. Uh, let's put that back in because I've been changing it. 30925. So we've got the tone in, but we do need, um, let's go F, squelch type tone, F. Code 77, yeah. Press F again. We do need the shift amount. And we need to also put it into FM. So mode button, FM. And it's showing the tone that FM's there. Uh, let's do the uh, the minus shift. So we'll go F, then zero. See, it says simplex. We want minus. There you are. So we're nearly there. We just need to set the shift amount so that it shifts Correctly, we need 7.600. So there is another very large menu if you press and hold the F. And you can cycle through the different memories. And the one we're after is 46. Okay, the repeater frequency. Then if we press the F again, we actually want 7.6. That one, it's a bit long-winded doing it this way. Um, let's just go like so. F. And if we back out, to press and hold. So now, in theory, we've got everything we need to open that repeater. Uh, we've got the plus shift. So let's do that again. F and then repeater plus. There you go. M0 FXB test test. Unfortunately, we're not going to make it inside this room. But that's the repeater. And now to save that to memory, just press and hold the VM. You'll get the, the number that's available flashing. So number six is available. Press again, and you can actually start to add the name of the repeater. So turn the top knob, G, to the right. Press band, B, and again. And if you go backwards, you'll get numbers, three. And look how clear these digits are. And it's F, I, F, then I. And then press and hold. To go to memory channels, press VM, and there we are. M0 FXB. And look how nice and, and clear that is. So if we go to a digital channel that I created, you can see that someone's there and it actually does show. And here's my hotspot. And I I would say if you've got a digital radio and haven't got a hotspot, that you are missing out massively. You can wait around and just use your repeater, which is, you know, very happy about people that provide repeaters. But this is like having a repeater at home. So we just do the volume. 
we need that reason from the whole game and that sort of stuff. But uh, well, that's gets a bit quieter, uh, Brian. I'm not going to do the whole showing you how to add yeah, well, digital memories. Because I've already made a video on that. But if you want to sort of log into this hotspot without having to control it using your computer, which is PyStar, you just press F then AMS and you log in. And I'll attach. I'll attach a video for you to control the wires X side of this. You've also got group mode as well. Not sure if that will actually work so until unless we log into uh, the hotspot. Uh, and hold down F, just quickly flick you through the different menus. So you've got repeater, receive mode, receive save, scan, the lamp for the backlight. You want to turn that on. That's the scan lamp temperature. Time out of how long you speak. Just flicking through. I mean, look at all the menus. Automatic power off. The beep. Busy lockout. I think that's if someone's speaking, it doesn't let you transmit. The beep level. Bell. Clock shift. DC voltage. DC. The dimmer for brightness. Digital pop ups that we're seeing now. Yeah, There's your voice uh, wide I'm, 16. I'm Not that I've, um, I've, I've got, ever known uh, anyone ever use it. DPID. Uh, There's your dual watch. Group mode. Very advanced settings in there if you want them. Dual banders. I've got a couple of any tone 898. If we go down to say, see if we can get Hubnet on here. This is now analog FM look. Definitely there. M0FXB calling for a contact on Hubnet. Get the volume up. And that's the little box in my room that's actually connected to a Raspberry Pi. Now, of course, you can go outside. And this is oh, the audio there. And this is this is going to work great outside. And uh, it's a beautiful set. And if you're interested in C4FM and digital. And how many? There you go. G0 CDX, how are you doing? Oh, I'm just testing out my Yesu FT70. I haven't used it for ages. Someone said to me, can you dig it out? And here I am, back to you. Yeah, okay, uh, Andreas, uh, we said it's all right to See me. the green um, LED? Uh, slightly on the tinny side, uh, but I'm only using a... Uh, so maybe you need to go to the... Just notice you've got the blue when it's digital. Sorry uh, about that, Paul. There you go. We'll end it there. Please uh, check out Hubnet. That's Paul. And uh, catch you later. Please subscribe. 7-3, all the best.